100, 50, Air to air refueling is a big enhancer, so that gives the uh, receiving units either the opportunity to have more uh, load out with them or to extend their mission duration. And of course, um, if you're policing, uh, that takes some time and then they want to extend their station time to the max extent and then therefore they need the tankers. There are multiple other NATO exercises which are conducted year by year, so that's just a, a regular training environment we are participating right now in and it's, it's not, not uh, in relation to any conflict in the world. So we are uh, somewhere in an area supporting any air-to-air -air assets which require fuel that might be today in uh, Norwegian in, uh, for, for cold response. The next day it might be air policing in Balticum uh, where we also conduct air-to-air -air fueling with the assets to support these kind of missions. My job is uh, to provide uh, receivers with uh, fuel. Uh, there are two possible ways to provide uh, receivers with fuel on this aircraft. We have uh, the hose and rogue system underneath the wing and we have uh, the boom uh, underneath the tail. Today's mission uh, we uh, provide support for the cold response exercise. Uh, together with our uh, allied partners we are uh, doing this exercise to maintain our, uh, maintain our level of uh, proficiency and uh, to improve our skills. Uh, it's a multinational uh, exercise. Uh, we as MRTT are a multinational unit as well. Um, we had, today we had a couple of uh, F-35 receivers and uh, the job was to uh, give them uh, fuel for their mission uh, uh, on the, in the theater.